We see them every day in the streets and it's almost like they do exist. How do really end up there? Ever wonder? Well, let's talk to somebody who's addicted to cocaine drugs. Welcome inside another edition of JD's Vlogs. What's up? My name is JD. Today's episode of JD's Vlog is brought to you by King's Lounge Barber Spa, the premier barber spa for men. My brother, thanks for taking the um, time out to talk to me this morning. Um, what's your name? Earl Rockberry. All right, Earl. Uh, so, Earl, <clears throat> uh, where you origi originally from? From Arena, San Rafael. San Rafael? Yeah. Uh, a little bit about yourself here. Yeah. Early days, you went to school. What school you went to? Primary school? In primary school, then I'm... Um, I went morning shift junior second half. Morning shift junior sec, so you have you went to school? Yeah well I drop out and um form my, my grandfather take me out of school and form two. Form because, two? Yeah, because I'll break in beach and thing and he has come he was going to retire um, next this evening. So so your grandfather take you out of school? Yeah. So you didn't get to do um CXC or anything like that. So no. after school what did you went to do? I went and do white tap, I do auto service. So you have, you, you had jobs, you had, yeah. you still have family and thing around? Yeah, family and thing, I just doesn't go home and thing much because I. Mm. Really, really, and Julius is a kind of financial or something. Or good job. Right. You know, I used to support my, my cooking by something. Yeah, so. The, the drug situation. Yeah. You get to die in a little bit. You had jobs or or stuff like that before? You work yeah, anywhere? I used to work um I used to work so by um in the charts I used to do um I used to, um do exporting. Right, but at those times there wasn't only drug scene yet. No, it's not on coke yet. How old are you? 30, 39. 39? Yeah. I didn't even look 39 or <laughs> What caused you to to end up starting drugs? Well, uh, I was working afterwards. Um, well, really, and she did tell you the truth. My friend come from Canada and he sent him, keep on sending me to buy it now. Oh, you're sending to buy it? Yeah, man. Mistake I make was to try it and I never really get to stop it too. So, after the first time, yeah. you never come up. What drug is this? Cocaine. So after the first try of cooking, you would say that was that was the addiction start. Yeah, the addiction start, but um, it's really how to get off it. Yeah. Yeah. You ever been to any rehab or any? Yeah, I tried. I've been to reboot out once. Reboot out. Yeah. So how family? I mean, how family dealt with? You said if your family doesn't deal with the cooking situation and thing, what? No, well. How does deal with you now? Yeah, let's deal with my work, you know. I still, I still live in somewhere, you know, but just, you know, I just choose to be out here to work. I really get in front of it, too. Though. So, you, but, but I just see you on the street and thing. Are you homeless or you? No, I live in South. Not really homeless. We don't really live on the street. I live in a happy South, empty lot, though, on that side, so, Brad Street. Okay, okay. Well, I never really been sleeping on the street really and sure yeah, it's always um, a property, some abandoned property where they um, where they close down and plan to open back now. Uh, I okay. sleep I sleep on it. Yeah, yeah. Um drugs man, I mean you, you, you see yourself you want to come off it? Yeah well uh, I try to come off it but but the tiles um is that it kind of wager into the come off. Yeah. Sometimes when I say, when I say, well, brown, I try something. Something always coming up and um, I always end up back on it. It let me for a long period of time too. It'll be like, for the two days and thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It really and truly, it's a series of my um, cooking. Yeah. 
poker, là, je dis, tu as tu comment on fait, tu as venu aller comment on fait, tu vois. Je dis, je ne sais pas pourquoi, mais je dis, je ne sais pas pourquoi, je ne sais pas pourquoi. Il y avait bien qu'à Jill, quand ça... Oui, j'ai été à Jill beaucoup de fois pour poker. Pour poker. All right, man. I mean, you know, I mean, I would keep. Um, I, I know a couple of people who just be into, you know, trying to get people off the street and that kind of thing. I just wanted to bring awareness to the public and put this out there so maybe some people who also might be interested because they say you want to come off. Yeah. You know, who might be interested, they could reach out, they could contact me, and you know what I mean? We could make yeah. the link. I just trying to do something positive in the area, and I was like, yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, just keep the faith and stay safe out here, but I will come. God is good, everything God is possible, yeah? Yeah. Later. Right. Yeah, that. Thank you for watching another episode of JD's vlog. Remember, stay off our drugs, do even start to get interested in it. Share this link, let the young children and MC, let the people see, let the kids see, cocaine is nothing to be messing with, all right? Please remember, like my page, follow my page, help me get to my goal, which is 20,000 followers in six months. Uh, it is possible. I have about two more months to go. And uh, yeah, I'm at 5,000. It don't look that good, but you never know. God is good. All right. So like my page, share this video. And also, if you're on YouTube, you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube page. Okay. And um, uh, yeah, see you next week on JD's Vlogs. And you know how we just do it over here on my page. We have a lot of different things I do. You know what I mean? And there's this one thing a lot of y'all like is called Indie Maxi and we're gonna have a new episode of that coming up very soon. See you next week on JD's Vlog.